What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your man Jay Will. So I was sitting in here and I was thinking about the G5 and I was like, man, LG's going to bring it. Uh, but then I was thinking, you know what, let me charge up the uh, Stylo and uh, give, it a, give it a whirl. It's been such a long time since I've used this device. Uh, but it's still in pristine condition, as you can see. Still got the tempered glass on there. The back is still flawless uh, and it is still great. So What's the style I've been doing? Yeah, I haven't used it in a while, but I actually fired it up today and started using it. And it still runs like a champ. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this device. And devices like this make me wonder why we shell out so much money for phones um, when they come out. Um, it's, it's just a, it amazes me. And I say we because I do it too. I don't have to get all the devices, but I do blogging and stuff like that. And you know, I do unboxing and reviews. And so that is my reasoning for picking up all the devices. Um, but you really don't need to upgrade um, like you think you do. And I say that with well, myself included. As Again, as a customer, uh, I'm like, man, you know, I don't, don't want to spend that money on something or I don't want to get the latest device. But as a blogger and a, uh, and a person who does reviews, I'm like, yeah, got to do it. Uh, but, you know, I think I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of <laughs> leaning back. You know, I'm, I plan on picking up a couple of new devices. And I'm not so much worried about budget. It's just that, you know, I get burned out from having all these devices laying around. But some devices, like this particular device right here, is actually really, really good. This is still a great, great device. 5.7 inch display. It's 720p, uh, 720 by 1280 on the display. Uh, runs like a champ. It has a Snapdragon 410 in it, and that's a tried and true processor. And uh, it has 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of memory with an SD card. Laser focus on the camera. You just can't get any better than that. Uh, it, it takes fantastic photos. Battery life is off the charts still. You should be able to get at least five and a half, six hours of screen on time with this device. Even if you're a pretty heavy user, you'll still get a lot of screen on time. I really like the build quality on this device. Uh, absolutely nothing wrong with it. It has a removable battery, 2,900 uh, milliamp hour battery in here that will last you throughout the day and then some. Uh, this thing should really get you through your day. Um, has an SD card, like I said before. Speaker quality on here is great. It's uh, just the way it should be. Um, the design itself, I've always said it before, like when I had my, my G, um, G4, I always said I kind of like this, this design better uh, than the G4. Now you're probably saying they built the same, but they're not built the same. They have different textures on the backs and the phone itself is a little bit uh, different, but overall it's still LG. I really like their skin. Uh, I don't use normally use a skin when I have an LG phone that I'm using because I really like their particular skin. The screen is nice and vibrant. I said about 56%, uh, but the screen is nice and vibrant still. It's really nice. That's at 33%. Uh, it's, a, it's a good phone. The cameras, though, are actually really, really solid, man. I, I haven't um, played with this camera in a while, but um, the camera itself is really, really nice. Shoots in 1080p at, at 30 frames per second, but still, that's, that's really good. Uh, it's got different modes. You've got panorama and auto. And um, that's it, man. You, get a, you pretty much get a great... Um, trying to find something to take a picture of. <laughs> you get a great camera for such a low price. That laser focus really, really, really does a trick. Um, it really, really does a trick. It's uh, a non-camera, this probably looks, well, it might look okay on camera, uh, but the camera itself is well worth it when you look at the price. I've got some old videos up on this phone um, from back in the day when I first picked it up. Uh, the laser focus, the 13 megapixel camera. Uh, it is good. There's different variants of this device, and uh, the T Mobile variant and the Metro PCS variant pretty much have the same specs, but the Boost Mobile version does not. So, uh, what do I use this for? I just use it for the same thing. I have the same apps on all of my Android devices, nothing different, just the essentials, a couple of games, um, nothing, nothing major or fancy about it. I just keep what I need on the phones and I try to put all my music actually on the um, on the SD card but overall everything works on this phone exactly like it should it's a really fast phone and one thing that this phone has that a lot of the other budget devices don't have is the 5 gigahertz band 
I think that's important. You need to have the five gigahertz band nowadays. It's just like we don't need um, minimum memory should be 32 gig of us um, uh, on all smartphones. I believe you know 16 is nice, but most phones memory takes up at least six gigs of the memory, at least six gigs. So uh, having 32 gigs of memory on a phone is great. Now, if you have an SD card, that's fantastic. But some phones you can't move the applications to the SD card, uh, and and that's just a it's not good at this point, but overall, this device has been phenomenal. Uh, after after not using it for a while, and then using it, uh, it's 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 really good. I like it. It's nothing that I would have to complain about on this device. Uh, you often, when I have a device like this laying around, I often wonder, you know, why why am I still buying? Um, now, this is the customer side of me talking. Why am I still buying devices that are nine hundred bucks? Now, this device right here. Is I got this for twenty nine dollars, man. Because <laughs> I had gotten rid of my other six forty, and I bought this one for twenty nine bucks, and I unlocked it, and, and I used this on T Mobile as well. Uh, but again, this is the six forty, and it's a beautiful device, uh, and twenty nine bucks, and it does everything that you will possibly need it to do. Uh, but when it comes to Android, there are a lot more Android devices that are under two hundred dollars that are good, uh, but a lot of them don't have some of these features, like this one right here. A lot of phones do not have that feature. Now this isn't S Pen worthy, but it's definitely a good option to have because it's a stylus. And if you don't want to touch the screen, you don't have to. You can use notes, you can take notes. It's very accurate. Uh, it just, it does well. This phone has some options that a lot of other uh, so-called budget devices don't actually have. And that's why it's good to have this in your repertoire if you're gonna have a flurry of uh, phones or you're gonna have an, um, like me, an option for phones. I want to use this phone today, or you know, I'm gonna put my SIM card in this phone. I'm feeling like iOS today. I put it in my iPhone or whatever. Or I'm feeling like BlackBerry. I put it in my BlackBerry. If you're gonna have a different um, catalog of phones, I would recommend you put this in your catalog. You can actually find this at Walmart still uh, for the Walmart Family version, which is just the T-Mobile version. Um, it's 179, and T-Mobile actually has it on sale for existing customers and new customers. For online only for $214 at the recording of this video. So even that $214 price tag is still good for what this phone offers. Uh, the stylus, the cameras are good, battery life off the charts, and for the techies out there who are just, just have to have it, this phone is getting the 6.0 update. It's already in the works right now with T-Mobile. We're just waiting for it to hit. So that's a fantastic thing. Not a lot of phones that have been out for a while can say that. And LG surprisingly stuck to it for this phone for some reason. It's going to get 6.0. It's already in the works right now. So uh, this is still a fantastic device. Uh, fluid, flawless, everything works. If you don't have uh, this device and you're thinking about getting a device, you're thinking about the Honor and all those, I would say pick this one up uh, before the Honor. I mean, the Honor is nice and it has a fingerprint reader, but it doesn't have something that I enjoy, which is the um, 5 gigahertz band. I talked about that in my review. It is nice. The Honor is nice. I gave it a 9.5 in my review, I believe. But if I had to choose, um, I would feel more comfortable dropping uh, this phone, having this phone uh, drop out of my hand. I think it'll probably just pop apart. I've actually dropped it and it pops apart. Uh, but the Honor, that metal will dent. Now, Honor does have a metal metal body and um, a fingerprint reader, but that doesn't make a phone whole. You know, that doesn't make the, that's not the, the have all for a phone. Those are specs and things that techies put out there and tell people that they have to have, which isn't true. Uh, but this phone itself, uh, it can be found for 180 bucks right now, less than the Honor, and uh, you can actually get this unlocked for free after using it on T-Mobile's website for, or excuse me, using it on T-Mobile service uh, for 40 days, and uh, they'll unlock it for free. Just go into the unlock application and you select device unlock and they'll unlock it for free uh, but nonetheless uh, this phone has a lot to offer and that is no joke the stylus alone which is the stylo that alone right there and the laser focus on the camera is boss I'll put some links probably to my reviews and things on this camera and the in the um, excuse me this phone in the description. So check the link in the description. Um, but you'll see some content that I've done previously with this phone, and it is great. I think you'd be very happy with this device if you were to pick it up even today. It has a Snapdragon 410, but you know what? I like the, I've said it before. I like the Snapdragon 410 better than the 615. The 615 in every experience I've had has been laggy, stuttery. It has something with it that just didn't click right. And that's just my experience. 
Uh, but and I've tried it on different phones. I have had three different phones that have the 615, and pretty much on all of them, uh, overall, it was something quirky about it. Um, that uh, you know, it's not that huge of a deal. But I think I just like the. Let me give you another example. The Ascend Mate 2, the Huawei Ascend Mate 2 has the same processor in here as the Snapdragon 410, flawless. And if you have a Snap 2, excuse me, um, a Huawei Ascend Mate 2, if you have that still, you'll probably say, "Wow, that he's right." That, that phone right there, my phone flies. And this phone is no exception. This phone is very nice with the 410. It, ru it runs great. The two gigs of RAM is more than enough to power this bad boy. So revisiting the LG G Stylo. This is a T-Mobile variant. I think you've got a winner if you're still holding on to yours. It's a flawless device and you can't go wrong with something like this. It's your man Jay Will and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Check the link in the description. There's going to be about three or four of them down there.